Christine, Cisco Morris, and I have just been having a beautiful time this morning. I mean, yeah. everything looks great. Oh, yeah. This is this might be the best one ever. Oh, all right. Well, that's the reason you should come and take a look at this. We were just admiring this greenhouse. Even you said you wish you'd have something oh, like this, I would right? I love to have this greenhouse. Yeah. Maybe that's a long term goal, but you might see some things here that'll inspire you. We could achieve a couple things like this, too. Let's have our photojournalist Jay come on in yeah, you know, and show us this. Even, you know, a lot of people, they don't really have much garden space or anything, but you can do so much in containers. Uh -huh. And this is a really cool plant. It's, it's called a honey bush. Oh. Comes from South Africa, but, and I love these combinations of color in here. Yeah, you don't need flowers to necessarily make things look colorful and beautiful. No, you really that. don't, you know, form, texture, all play a role. And then when you put a bunch of pots together, kind of makes one uh, picture that really works well. So it's a, it's a nice way to use pots. Well, we have been taking questions from folks uh, to have you answer because I, I don't have the answers. Uh, but Cisco, we have uh, the Murphys from Tacoma who have a cherry tree that they're going to be trimming it for the first time. They've already had it for three years. What do you recommend they do? Well, it's, it's a little tricky pruning a cherry okay. tree for the first time. You probably don't want this thing, if it's a dwarf cherry, then you probably don't want it to get, you know, 40 feet tall, because okay. dwarfs will in time. Oh. So you might want to prune to control the height. Okay. But when you do that, it's going to make a lot of other branches going go. Out. Okay. So uh, normally what we do is just thin them out. If there's any cross in branches, mm -hmm. you'll take out the weakest one. Okay. And. Uh, you know, try and open it up, get some of those sprouts out of the middle because that's where uh, you're going to get better air circulation and that'll keep your tree a lot healthier and prettier. Okay, so. good to know. Good advice here from our expert. We just want to give you everyone uh, one more view of this beautiful greenhouse. This is just inspiration, I think, like we said. This, <sighs> this might be a dream or a long, long-term goal, but lots of fun things to see, right, Cisco? They really are, and you do get a lot of ideas that you can use at home, too, you know, but but even then, some of them are so over the top. I don't care if I could never do it at home. It's fun to see them, you exactly. know. Exactly. And, and when you come here, there's a big marketplace. You can buy plants and flowers. You can buy some lawn ornaments, other pieces of art. So, oh, so much to do here. The shopping is to die for. It's here. Valentine's Day. So, if oh. you didn't get your special someone a gift, you say, oh, I plan to take you to the garden show. And then you just shop <laughs> together and get some ideas, right? Yeah, that was yeah. my plan. All along. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's a great idea. Right, I just thought of that. All right, that's your plan, everyone. If you didn't plan anything for Valentine's Day, why not come out here? The show is running from 9 to 8 today, same way through Saturday, and then 9 to 6 for Sunday. Text the word flower to 206 448 We'll send you a link there, and you'll have some fragrances and sights making you say, Ooh. Oh, la, la. <laughs> la, 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 la. Back to you in the studio, Christine. Uh, Thank you so much, Farah and Cisco, for giving us a preview of the show. Uh, 